and I've got friends and trust me, I've done it myself, you know, that lose a job and then get another, one, but won't take it because it's less salary than maybe the one they had before. And all of a sudden find themselves three, four, five, six, seven, eight years, a decade later going, they're still stuck. They, they didn't do anything. They're still saying like, no, I'm going to find that thing. And I'm going, like, you missed a decade, man. Just go do that one that, that you love to do that maybe was going to pay you less because you'd at least been building something through the day. And who knows what that would have led to? Maybe that would have led to something where you're getting paid five times more than you were doing something else you love even more. Uh, so a lot of times I say this in the, in, in the book. Sometimes it's not even about what choice we make. Just make a choice and commit to it and go and dive in because we can look up. Limbo sucks. We're all in limbo now with COVID. Limbo sucks. But sometimes you just go, I, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to do this one. And I'm just going to do it. And if I do this to the best of my ability, sometimes that lens, somebody sees us do that. And they come up and they go, you're actually more qualified. You're overqualified for this job. You should be doing that. And you're like, yeah, that's what I really like to do. They'll see it. But put ourselves in a position, right? Because you can look up and days, weeks, months, years can go by. And you can go, I've been tiptoeing around here, not committing to anything for so damn long, I'm missing out. 